All right, thank you, Nikki. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Mike Wallace. I'm with Clark Public Utilities. Uh, I've been with uh, Clark Public Utilities for just over seven years now, uh, all in the energy efficiency sector. Uh, prior to my time with uh, Clark, I was a home builder and also a commercial contractor. So uh, happy to be here with you and hopefully you find this information valuable uh, for your tenants and for your properties. Uh, here, here's a brief overview of what we'll be talking about today. Um, just a little brief introduction on Clark Public Utilities. I uh, also wanted to uh, go over some of the programs we may have or that we have for uh, your properties. Uh, this will help your customers uh, or your tenants, uh, you know, help lower their consumption, help their homes or their uh, dwellings uh, become much more energy efficient. And uh, we have some uh, financial assistance for uh, these programs that we'd like to go over. Uh, also, uh, just we'll share some, uh, some energy saving tips that you can pass on to your tenants as well. So Clark Public Utilities is a consumer owned public utility district. We serve approximately 200,000 uh, residential uh, customers throughout all of Clark County. Uh, we uh, pride ourselves in our customer satisfaction. Uh, we are a 13 time JD Power customer service award winner. And uh, we like to focus a lot of our efforts in energy conservation. So uh, we have many programs for uh, all the various sectors throughout the industry. And uh, today we'll focus on the multifamily programs in particular. So uh, some of our programs that we've had for quite a while uh, are, are weatherization programs. Uh, these programs are meant to help uh, multifamily residences increase uh, their efficiency. Uh, just a brief rundown of some of the programs we have. We have a window replacement program uh, for customers that are looking to replace uh, metal or wood framed windows. Uh, we offer rebates to convert them to vinyl. Uh, we also have insulation programs uh, available to you to upgrade the attic floor or wall insulation. And uh, these programs do require a pre and post inspection. Uh, the units must be electrically heated, and the contractor that performs the work must be signed up with our weatherization program. And we have a lot more information on this at our website, uh, clarkpublicutilities.com. One of our new programs that we're excited to share with you today is our electric vehicle uh, charger rebate. So we offer a $500 rebate for the installation of an Energy Star rated level two charger. Uh, this can be installed. Uh, th there are no limits to how many you install at your at your property. Uh, we do have a, a rebate form that uh, you need to fill out to obtain the rebate. And uh, we do ask or we do require that uh, the consumption data uh, that we get access to that for evaluation purposes. And in the future, uh, we may contact you regarding some demand response programs. Uh, we have a list of qualified products on our website. Uh, if you have more information or questions about this program, I'm happy to answer them or, or provide more information after uh, the webinar. Uh, all we require is a sales receipt and an installation receipt to uh, uh, process that rebate. Uh, another new program that we have for you are package terminal heat pumps. Just like you see in that picture there, uh, many dwellings have this type of unit mounted through the wall. Uh, if you are replacing a package terminal air conditioner, um, also known as a PTAC, uh, the, if you replace those in multifamily homes or apartments, we offer a $200 per unit installed uh, for, for your uh, customer. Uh, they must be HRI certified and they must be replacing PTAX or electro, electric zonal systems such as ceiling heat, wall heaters, baseboard heat. Um, also, uh, if you are uh, managing projects that are being built currently, we offer a uh, rebate of $125 per PTHP installed in those dwellings. 
Uh, next year, I'll, I'll have a lot more information to share with you, but we do have a new construction program coming up uh, in, it's going to be launched in 2022. Uh, this program will offer a $350 rebate per unit as, as long as the uh, building exceeds uh, Washington State Code by 10% as far as efficiency goes. Uh, this is a brand new program to us, so definitely have more information for you uh, next year, but um, something that we're excited to, to offer you. Uh, we also have a commercial lighting program that is not necessarily for your tenants, uh, the lighting in their in their units, but this is more for the common area lighting. So your parking lot lights, your uh, main office lighting, uh, we do offer incentives to upgrade the lighting in these areas, uh, as long as it's behind a commercial meter. If, if it's uh, lighting controlled by the meter of the tenant's unit, that would not qualify for this program. Uh, our incentives uh, recently did increase. We now offer a rebate of up to 70% of the entire project cost. And uh, if you have any questions about this program, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, basically what we do is come out to your uh, property and do a pre and post inspection and we'll fill out uh, a, a lighting calculator uh, for you that helps uh, calculate what the savings would be uh, what the rebate uh, from Clark Public Utilities would be as well. We also have an appliance recycling program, whether it be one of your tenants replacing his refrigerator and he needs somebody to pick up the old one, we'll come do that for free. Uh, you just call our main number 992-3000 to schedule a pickup and uh, you know, two business days or, or beyond later, we'll come out and pick that up. Uh, the refrigerator must be in working order, and what we what we mean by that is it that uh, needs to have some sort of uh, functionality, whether it be, you know the lights turn on or, or it kind of works. But uh, we're not looking to pick up a you know scrap metal. It's uh, it needs to be in somewhat working order, and uh, we don't pick up mini refrigerators. So mini fridges, anything you know, apartment or or dorm room fridges would not uh, qualify for this program. If uh, you as a property manager is replacing uh, large quantities of refrigerators or freezers at one given time, uh, give one of our energy counselors a call and we can set that up to pick up you know, dozens of refrigerators at, at, one, at one time. Uh, but for individual tenants, they can just call our main number and, and set that up. Now, in regards to our tenants, um, you know, we, we have energy counselors available Monday through Friday to talk to homeowners or commercial customers uh, regarding energy efficiency. Uh, we can you know, answer any questions they may have to help them reduce their electric bill or their water bill um, and offer more information about all of these programs. Um, you know, if I were to take anything to a customer, if I could only say one thing about energy efficiency, I would, I would focus on their heating and cooling systems as that is the largest consumer of electricity in their home. Uh, some of the suggestions we have for customers is a uh, programmable thermostat, uh, one that can be turned down at night or when they're at work, which is uh, where the greatest uh, you know, potential for savings is. Uh, one thing we have noticed, uh, however, with COVID and retirement is a lot, uh, a lot of people are home more and uh, we have noticed a, an increase in consumption uh, over the past 15 months. Uh, so, you know, these customers may come to you or they may call us and say, hey, you know, why is my bill higher? Well, this may be one of the reasons is they've been home all the time using their heating and cooling system. Um, another thing that we are noticing is a lot of people are working from home. And uh, if you have a larger unit, um, you know, one thing you might consider is only heating the office space that you're working in and turning down the main heating system for the home. Uh, this is uh, another opportunity to save uh, electricity or gas. Um, you know, turn off the lights, turn off electronics, um, you know, turn things off when they're not in use. Just, you know, sounds like basic things, but, um, uh, you know, everything and, you know, all these little things do add up when we are uh, trying to conserve energy. Uh, on our website, we have a lot of uh, brochures and um, different, you know, 
calculators or saving, you know, savings graphs that, that our customers can play with to customize and make it look like their home so they can, uh, you know, learn what doing things, you know, different things in the home will do to affect their electric bill, such as turning down the temperature for a few hours. It will help them, you know, realize the things they can do that will make a, a bigger bang for their buck. Uh, again, these are, uh, you know, these things can be accessed on our website, ClarkPublicUtilities.com. Um, and that's all I have for you today. I'm happy to answer any questions that may have come through the chat box. And um, my contact information is there if you need to get a hold of me. Uh, happy to answer uh, any questions that you have on a on a specific, uh, you know, to your uh, property. And thank you for your time. Thanks, Mike. I haven't seen any questions in the chat box yet, so I think we'll go to Michelle next. Great. Let me bring up my presentation. Are you seeing my presentation? Yeah, if you want to put it in present mode. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right. Well, just to, um, thank you for having me um, on this presentation. I really appreciate it and I appreciate the partnership. Um, I actually um, work directly for the Energy Trust and uh, I um, run the Southwest Washington program for Northwest Natural. So that's kind of my tie in here. And I've um, just a little background on myself. I've been, oh boy, I've been in the utility industries for so many years, I probably shouldn't give the number out because then you'd know how old I am. So it's been many, many years that I've been in the utility industry. And I actually used to work at Clark Public Utilities. So, um, so it's nice to see Mike on this call. So just a little bit about the Energy Trust. Um, we are an independent nonprofit. Uh, many people don't know that. And we serve about 1.6 million customers in PGE, Pacific Core, Northwest Natural, Cascade Natural Gas, and Avista in both Oregon and Washington. And so we have um, you know, residential programs, commercial programs, industrial um, programs, ag programs. So we, co we, cover, um, we cover the gambit of all customers uh, and all different types of programs, including um, solar and, um, and other, other programs. So just to get down a little bit more into um, what we offer um, and what we can offer uh, these customers is we, we work quite a bit with the customers to offer assistance in identifying the savings opportunities, similar that, that Clara Public Utility does. We'll come in, do maybe a site walkthrough, maybe we'll, maybe we'll pay for a study for the facility to look at opportunities for gas savings. And, um, and then of course, we'll work with you to um, provide you an offer for a cash, cash incentive for the projects that we identify. And we do, again, a lot of this is very similar to Clark Public Utilities. We will work with qualified contractors in the area to work with customers on uh, you know, giving a proposal for the project, estimating the costs, and uh, coming up with the incentive offer. Now, specifically with multifamily buildings in Southwest Washington, um, it's a bit unique in, in the program that I work on is that we work both on existing buildings and new buildings. Um, so that's a little bit um, unique in that we do work on new buildings also and a lot of the larger new building multifamily projects. And um, we work with these developers and um, to identify approved energy efficiency equipment. And then of course, uh, work with them to 
uh, calculate the cash incentives for this equipment. Now, one thing that's a little, little bit unique with this program that I wanna make sure I go over is that in our program in Southwest Washington, and Mike mentioned this a little bit in his presentation um, when he was speaking about lighting, is that we work with, we work on with customers and multifamily in the common areas. Um, you might think of these areas as anything that is behind the commercial meter. So that would entail um, community um, room, community areas, uh, pools, uh, anything that any multifamily site that may have a main uh, shared meter. A lot of times that is uh, applicable to low income housing or perhaps older uh, multifamily sites that has a main meter and the utilities are folded into that main meter. So that's one of the uh, specific qualifying factors for our project here, our program here. This list here is a list of uh, some of, not, not a complete list, but a list of some of the equipment that we will uh, offer incentives on in the common areas. And you'll see that here. I won't go through everything, but you know, just tip, typical equipment. Um, I've, done, um, I've done some really great projects with pool heaters uh, in, in uh, several multifamily uh, sites here in Washington, uh, boilers and condens condensing uh, furnaces, tank and tankless water heaters. This picture that I have here, I'll actually go, go over this project. You might recognize this. This is the uh, uptown building in downtown Vancouver that we did a project on. And just a, just a note that the um, right now in 2021, I have a bonus that I'm offering um, for actually all projects, not just multifamily, but all projects, uh, commercial sites for condensing boilers and tank water heaters. And it basically uh, for boilers, it uh, will double the incentive um, for boilers that are purchased after April 1st and installed before December 31st. So it's quite a great opportunity. We have a lot of schools that are taking advantage of, of this incentive offer. And I did wanna make a, a, a quick note that we also offer um, custom incentives. And that is uh, the type of pro project if you want, if, if a customer, uh, wanted to do a full study on a on a facility um, that we can come in and help pay for a study and the incentive would be customized based on the savings that was identified in that study and I did make a note here that we do partner with Clark Public Utilities on the co-funding of that study so it's a great opportunity for customers to uh, have a study completed to look at the facility and see what's available for custom incentives. Um, that would be maybe something, maybe a, a controls upgrade. And I did want to just to make a note uh, that we are very involved in the community, um, all types of uh, different um, associations, uh, Clark, Clark County Green Business Group, I'm sure you've heard of. I think they're partnering with this um, actual webinar. Um, the Clark College uh, in training there and um, some other um, business associations. So we, we're very involved and we do work with Clark Public Utilities quite a bit in working to share leads on projects and share, um, share information on customer projects. Um, what I wanted to share here is just a just a couple examples of projects that we've completed. Um, I just showed you this picture of Uptown Apartments. Uh, this site, they actually took advantage of, uh, of incentives uh, for, their, for uh, their tank water heaters. And we were able to give them an, an incentive of $4,000 um, to help save uh, on, on that equipment. So that was, a, that was a great project for that. And I'd like to It'd be great to have more projects like this. 
And then a couple more, I know they're not multifamily, but just to show you some examples of our involvement in Vancouver, this, of course, I'm sure, I'm sure many of folks have been to Heathen Brewery, um, to the Farrell House, and we helped uh, Sonny, the owner, with some equipment for their kitchen. And they were able to um, not only save it, save therms, but get an incentive from the Energy Trust um, for that equipment. And we're actually still wor we're working with him on another site. And then uh, just to make a point that I'm sure everybody um, loves to hear that our school districts are taking advantage of the incentives also. Camas School District has been um, a poster child in working with us on projects. And they have um, actually, uh, this number here, it's $165,000 is probably more than that by now, but they've been very involved in our projects for many of their schools, not only new construction, um, but existing buildings also. So they've been, um, they've been quite a partner with projects. And then uh, everybody knows about a a Casino. Um, they worked with us on boilers uh, of course, their boilers um, up there on that side are, are quite large, and they received an incentive of almost $150,000 for the boilers that they installed there. And it's, it's a pretty simple project um, and a pretty simple process uh, in that um, we don't throw a lot of paperwork at you. Uh, we make it as simple as we possibly can. And that's it for me. Um, here's my contact information if you have any questions. Thanks, Michelle. You bet. Those are really great examples and having the um, kind of testimony of the projects at the bottom was a really- Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I, I um, hopefully, that, hopefully you were able to see that. Um, yeah, that's great. Yeah, good, awesome. No problem. I don't see any questions in the chat, so I think we'll go on to Gregor. Am I, am I still sharing? I or don't Greg, see your screen. Okay, or Gregor, you wanna kick me off? Thanks, Nikki, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, wonderful. It says I'm still muted, but okay, there we go. Okay, now okay. I can get my video and hopefully you can now see my screen and myself. I do, I see your slides there. Wonderful. I don't see your camera yet, but <laughs> might be my now. Name. There we go. Yes. Okay, I see you okay. and I see your slides. Did you see my full screen? I'm hoping to, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Correct. Full screen? Wonderful. Okay, thanks, Nikki. Thank you, Michelle. Um, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Gregor Morrison. I'm uh, the residential account manager for Energy Trust in Southwest Washington. And so similarly to Michelle, I too am with Energy Trust, um, but I work closely with single family and small multifamily uh, customers throughout the Southwest region. Um, and this extends to support of the contractors who carry out the work in the single family and small multifamily homes. Uh, and these contractors can be enrolled in our Trade Ally network. And if they are, they often have access to increased incentive offerings um, that contractors who are not in our network uh, don't have access to. Um, and as a reminder, Energy Trust in Southwest Washington supports um, Northwest natural ratepayers um, through education and incentives for these energy efficient practices and uh, products. Um, two things I'd like you to walk away after. Uh, knowing after this presentation include the cash incentives available for Northwest Natural Property Managers of single family and small multifamily homes in Southwest Washington, and um, how to use our Find a Contractor tool. Um, as I mentioned, Energy Trust, they work with trade allies uh, and contractors um, and other allied professionals that are part of our on the ground network and they connect customers to incentives and services. Uh, and this tool that I'll show you how to access is available on our uh, web page um, as a resource for you, uh, property managers, to find those allied professionals. 
I won't go through uh, Energy Trust again because Michelle did that and did a very good job. So I'm going to skip over just a quick reminder uh, to be eligible for Energy Trust incentives and services. Uh, clients, customers must be Southwest Washington customers of Northwest Natural Gas. Uh, and this map shows the service territory for utility customers uh, located through the upper part of Oregon and Southwest Washington. And that's your region 12 up there in Southwest Washington. Uh, so please always remember to make sure uh, your property or a property is eligible before exploding uh, incentive offerings. Um, the incentives on the screen are available for, like you mentioned, single family and single family uh, rental and small multifamily, which uh, is condos, townhomes, duplexes, triplexes, fourplexes. That's what we class as small multifamily. Um, and as Michelle just went over, she covers the incentives for the larger multifamily properties. Um, so here you've got gas furnace um, for single family rentals is a thousand dollars as a bonus on at the moment. And that expires at the end of the year, December 31st. And um, right now it's 550 for single family, but that may change again later in the year. Uh, for small multifamily, it's 550. Uh, again, that may change later on in the year. Um, but customers are eligible to receive the bonus incentives if installed by an Energy Trust uh, Trade Ally contractor or any um, actively licensed contractor in Washington. Um, the gas, just uh, uh, additionally, the gas furnace must be the home's primary heating source. Um, hybrid gas uh, furnace used as a backup for heat pumps, for example, they would not be eligible. Um, there's also insulation incentives available that you can see for attic, wall and floor. Um, also windows, um, depending on the U value, uh, between four and six dollars off per square foot. Um, the gas tankless water heaters, the amount listed, uh, four hundred dollars, includes the bonus incentives. Um, and again, similar to the gas furnace, uh, installation must happen before the end of the year, December 31st. A uh, gas fireplace, uh, fireplace efficiency um, is stated there what it must be to get that between the 150 and $250. Um, the higher the rating, the more efficient uh, the unit for fireplace efficiency. Um, so keep that in mind. If you represent uh, an HOA, uh, you may be able to receive energy trust cash incentives for your entire building uh, or common areas. Um, and you can reach out to find out more about that if that, um, if that would be you. So the find a contractor tool, uh, again, like I mentioned, it's a very uh, it's a useful tool. It's easy to use. It's on our Energy Trust uh, homepage. Uh, you just go to the top right hand corner of the, the homepage and click on find a contractor. Um, and it takes you to this page that you see on your screen. And you can either type in the service that you need uh, or a company you want to find if you know the specific contractor that you want to use. Um, and it will then ask if this is for residential or for business. Um, and it will then give you a list of allied professionals in your area. So and usually uh, you can type in your zip code and it would tell you the nearest uh, contractors to you. And mine's short and sweet because I, um, I'm aware that many of you may not be a small multifamily and certainly not single family residential. So uh, thanks for listening to me today. If you, if you are eligible for any of the incentives I um, mentioned, feel free to reach out to me. There's my contact details on the screen. And with that, Nikki, I think I'll pass back to you. All right, thanks, Gregor. Thanks for going through some of those examples. I think that's really helpful. I haven't seen any other questions in the chat. So um, unless someone has a, a burning desire for a question, maybe we'll launch the poll for the evaluation.